And we have developing news. Law enforcement all across the nation has been dealing with a similar problem. Thieves stealing catalytic converters. Well, today, several students in Woolkit were delayed getting to school because eight catalytic converters were taken from the school buses in the middle of the night. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones has that story. Today, eight small buses in uh, Woolkit catalytic converters were cut off, and now the people that did ride those buses, you know, whatever routes they covered, are delayed for three hours. A trend happening all over the country. Brazen thieves pulling up to the All-Star transportation lot in Wilkett early Sunday morning, spending 44 minutes stealing catalytic converters off school buses. Unfortunately, this is not a unique problem. But it does create a lot of problems for, again, whether it's a homeowner, whether it's a bus company, school department, police departments, and this is throughout the state. Police Chief Edward Stevens says the process can take just minutes, but cost thousands of dollars and a huge headache for those left without the essential parts. These uh, uh, thieves do it. They'll go under uh, a vehicle. A higher vehicle is easier for them. They just make two cuts with a sawzall. You have a battery operated sawzall, just cut one, cut two, that's it, it's done. It's very, very quick. Stephen Gardner with All Star Transportation points out these criminals are hurting some of the most innocent members of our society. It's terrible because it, at the end of the day, it affects the kids and their ability to get to school. And they've already had a hard enough time over the last couple of years getting to school. So. I feel bad for them. Adding these eight buses will have to be towed and fixed, causing a domino effect for everyone involved. It disrupts their day, it disrupts their parents' day, um, it disrupts our company functions. You know, we're trying to, you know, run our vehicles and maintain our fleet, and now we have to replace eight catalytic converters and spend all that money, and it's just a big inconvenience. Chief Stevens says he's confident those who commit the crime will do the time. We also work with our uh, uh, local, other local agencies. You know, we share information, we share it with the state police, we share it with our federal partners. So all law, law enforcement is involved sharing information because, you know, a lot of this stuff is going out of state. In Wolcott, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.